Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking a look at another one of our trucks in the garage here. This is the Arma Fury BLX. And, uh, you know, on paper, this, this, uh, this looks like a pretty extraordinary and different truck, right? So one thing that separates it from the other short course trucks out there is the twin vertical plate chassis, right? So you have these twin metal plates that form the basis of the chassis. And the battery me mounting mechanism is pretty interesting here as well. There's a, a door that opens and allows you to slide in the battery and then closes. And there's a pin that goes through to lock that in place. Um, another thing that's kind of different from the, the rest of the crowd is uh, just the incorporation of a lot of metal parts, right? So in addition to just adjustable turnbuckles, uh, aluminum hexes here, uh, aluminum, or sorry, steel drive shafts, and, uh, you know, metal motor mounting plate. I mean, these are things that on paper make it look a lot better than other trucks like the, the Traxxas Slash. Um, we have had some problems with this, however. Uh, we've had some problems with the differentials. Right now, this, this car isn't running here, and it's in a half dis disassembled state because we need to go ahead and tear into the the gearbox again and this is a known issue if you just do some research on the internet on the arma forums uh, this was a problem or it continues to be a problem with some of these trucks it's just the the durability of the gears and the differential and we had torn this down once already uh, and had taken a look at the differential but um, nothing seemed to be wrong uh, so we reassembled it but uh, things just got worse from there it started making uh, kind of uh, gnashing noises, right? Clunking noises, and then right now it's it's just failed altogether. Um, so we're gonna have to have to take another look at that. Uh, you'll notice that we have some different shocks on here. These were from a, an eighth scale buggy. Uh, the front shocks there, uh, just because we run these larger tires on a lot of our trucks, right? Like the slash as well, um, just to give us more capability over over rough terrain. Uh, so just. A couple of quick pros and cons uh, besides the, the gearbox here is just the, the battery. And this is kind of cool because, you know, in concept, it, it's nice because you don't have to take the body off to replace the battery, right? Pretty, in pretty much other, uh, every other um, truck of this, uh, this, this uh, class, you have to do that. Uh, but um, the con here is that the, the, batteries that you can fit in here are extremely limited because of the size, right? Uh, in the slash, you can put uh, larger batteries in there. Um, but uh, this year, you're pretty much limited to a standard 7-cell or a 2S LiPo in terms of battery size. So um, the, you know, the other parts of the truck have been fairly durable. Uh, but again, the gearbox has been a large concern for us. We'll go ahead and get into that again. And, uh, and fix that up and hopefully get this back on the road pretty quickly here. Um, so, uh, you know, just other things to consider is that parts availability right now for Arma, um, is, it's not going to be as, as widespread as the Slash, right? So um, uh, consider that you may have to special order some parts and whatnot um, in, in uh, you know, your, your, hobby, your local hobby shop may not readily stock some of those uh, uh some of those parts that you might break here uh but other than that um yeah just uh, it's it's been a, a pretty solid truck uh, the electronics and radio have been solid um it's just that uh, in terms of our usages uh we, you know we've never broken a plastic chassis before on a, on a slash so having metal here uh may have uh, disputable value and uh, in in some of the lower grade trucks or actually in all of the lower grade trucks that arma sells they've actually gone to plastic for these twin vertical plates as well so not much of an advantage there um, the twin vertical plates are uh, our chassis are more difficult to work on as well uh, just because of how the, the chassis is laid out it's it's just a lot harder to get into there and uh, and do work on let's say the servo up here uh, or the steering or whatnot just a lot more pieces need to be dis disassembled uh, so anyways th those are just a couple of the pros and cons that we've run into and uh, just a quick review of the Arma Fury BLX. Thanks again for watching us. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, like us and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks again for watching.